heat and temperature heat and temperature are not the same thing they in fact mean two different things temperature is related to how fast the atoms or molecules move or vibrate within the substance heat not only depends on the temperature of the substance but also depends on how many molecules are there in the object temperature measures the average kinetic energy of molecules heat measures the total kinetic energy of the molecule in the substance total heat is measured by calorie the amount of heat needed to raise 1 gram of water by 1 degree centigrade take 1 liter water in a pan and heat it on a stove calculate the time taken to start boiling that is the time taken to thermo thermometer reading goes up to 100 degree centigrade take 5 liter water in another pan and heat it on the same stove calculate the time taken by the water to start boiling in which pan the water starts to boil earlier 1 liter or 5 liter both however shows a temperature of 100 degree at the boiling point 5 liter water takes more time to boil that is more heat is needed to boil the large amount of water so 5 liter water has more heat energy than 1 liter water you can see that 5 liter water pan will raise the can of water to high temperature though both pans of boiled water have the temperature of 100 degree centigrade the 5 liter water can give off more heat energy than 1 liter water because it has more heat energy and gives more energy to the water in the can a little girl is having a tea with while washing the pond near her house surely tea is in high temperature than the water in the pond now a question is arising in that girl mind which one has more heat energy a cup of tea or the water in the pond even though the temperature of the tea is higher than that of pond the volume of water in pond is very high hence the amount of molecules in the water in the pond is higher than the tea in the cup so pond has more heat energy than tea cup flow of heat an analogy between temperature and water level water flows when there is a difference in the level of water in different places it does not matter if there is more water in one place or another water from a puddle can flow into a reservoir or the other way around the temperature of an object is like the water level it determines the direction in which heat will flow heat energy flows from higher temperature to lower temperature consider two bodies a and b let the temperature of a be higher than that of b on bringing bodies a and b in contact heat will flow from 
hot body A to the cold body B. Heat will continue to flow till both the bodies attain the same temperature. Two objects are said to be in thermal contact if they can exchange heat energy. Thermal equilibrium exists when two objects in thermal contact no longer affect each other's temperature. For example, if a pot of milk from the refrigerator is set on the kitchen table, the two objects in, are in thermal contact. After a certain period, their temperatures are the same and they are said to be in thermal equilibrium. Expansion in solids Solid, liquid and gas An internal view Substance are made up of molecules. The molecules in any object are in a state of vibration or movement. This cannot be seen with our naked eyes. When a substance are heated, the vibration and the movement are increasing. The total number of molecules remain unchanging after heating. Hence, no change in weight. This vibration is transferred to one molecule to another and hence heat flows. The molecules in the substance move faster when heating, spread apart and occupy more space. So, susp substance expand when heated. Substance also change their states from solid to liquid and liquid to gas. Water flows when there is a difference in the level of water in different places. The temperature of an object is like the water level. It determines the direction in which heat will flow. That is higher temperature to low temperature. Expansion in solids. Sam is trying to open a tight jar but he cannot open it. He has his uncle to help. His uncle says that pour some hot water on the lid of the jar. Sam does so and tries to open it now. Wow! The jar is opened easily. Most of substance expand when heated and contract when cooled. The change in length area or volume is directly related to temperature change. The expansion of a substance on heating is called the thermal expansion of that substance. Linear and cubical expansion. A solid has a definite shape so when a solid is heated it expands in all direction, that is, in length, area and volume, all increases on heating. The expansion in length is called linear expansion and the expansion in volume is called cubical expansion. When two objects are said to be thermal contact, if they can, exchange heat energy. Thermal equilibrium exists when two objects in thermal contact. 
no longer affect each other's temperature. The expansion of a substance on heating is called thermal expansion of that substance. Once again, the expansion of a substance on heating is called thermal expansion of that substance. Cubical expansion. The expansion in length is called linear expansion. Once again, the expansion in length is called linear expansion and the expansion in the volume is called cubical expansion. Once again, the expansion in the volume is called cubical expansion.